What is up everybody? Welcome to 3D Printing News with 3D Printer Mike. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So today we're gonna to discuss all of the 3D printing news that I found that was rather interesting that's happening within the last week or two. We're gonna talk about 3D printer delays. Yes, I said that correct, delays new 3D printers and new 3D printer products. So let's go ahead and get right into the news. The first news we got here is the Elegoo Centauri. Yes, you heard that right. The Elegoo Centauri, not the Centauri Carbon, has been delayed. Some customers on Reddit are reporting that Elegoo sent them an email with two options. They can take option one, which is actually paying about $70, depending on what country you're in. But in the United States, I saw someone had a $70 option to upgrade to the Centauri Carbon. So you end up saving about $60 with shipping and you know you pay about $30 less for the Centauri Carbon. Or option two, you take a full refund and a $10 coupon. Personally, you're offering $30 off the Centauri Carbon. That's a 10% discount. Why didn't you give me 10% back on the coupon? So it should have been at least $20 in my opinion, or I would have been happier with you sending me a roll of filament. Now I'm not in this situation. I, that would just be my line of thinking. So they did say they were delaying it because of improvements and enhancements found there by their R&D team. So they delayed it about two to three months. However, I saw another email that said they delayed it indefinitely. So we're not really sure what that's looking like. I know they haven't sold any units since launch. It sold out. As far as I know, it's never been back in stock. So to me, that doesn't bode well for the long term at least with the Illigo Centauri, I think after this batch, they would just not produce them anymore. Now I could be completely wrong, but I could also see them canceling this product because it's only 199, it can't be making them that much money. Now some of you may be thinking, well, wasn't it just an Elegoo Centauri carbon without the panels? It actually was not. The internals on the Elegoo Centauri were cheaper and that's why they were offering the price of 199. So we'll see and time will tell when this product comes out. You do have to wonder, are we gonna see the multicolored system from Elegoo in quarter three then? Because that's when it was promised. But if we do, I will say just a word of caution, guys. I don't think they're gonna have enough stock for everyone to get that. I personally would be surprised if everyone with the Centauri Carbon was multicolored printing by the end of 2025. So moving on, we do have Chidi. They kind of quietly announced their multicolored system and went live on their website. It's available for $229. You can dry your filament while printing, which makes you wonder why Bamboo Labs AMS2 Pro doesn't offer that when pretty much any new filament dryer on the system or on the market is doing that. There are a lot of internal specs that I don't really wanna sit here and bore you with, but at this point, if you have a printer that doesn't have multicolored printing, it's kind of crazy in 2025. I do think 2026 will be the year of multi-tool heads instead, since we've come so far with multicolored and pretty much every printer offers it. So I did mention, why did Bamboo Lab leave that off their AMS2 Pro? Well, they did, right? And now Sunlu has you covered. They did come out with a new filament drying system that you can hook up to your AMS. Go ahead and check it out. I haven't got one personally, but there's so many people here on YouTube that have gotten them. So go ahead and check it out. They have it for pre-order. I believe it was shipping within the next few months. And that's one of the things, I would think it's like a software update maybe with Bamboo Lab where they can make the AMS2 Pro um, also like print and dry at the same time, but maybe it's not. Maybe that's just the way it is. There are some arguments that you don't really need that feature, which I can also see that, but I don't dry my filament, so I don't know. I live in Phoenix, it's dry here. I never need to dry it, oh my gosh. What a benefit, right? But when it's 115 degrees outside, you guys, I think I would happily trade drying my filament. So that's it for the dryers and those products, but we also have some new 3D printers on the block. If you guys have been on TikTok, you've heard of Yumi. They've officially launched their Kickstarter. Um, it should be going for the next, I don't know, few weeks. But with that being said, it's pretty popular on TikTok, as I mentioned, and they do tout the ability for them to reduce waste on their 3D printers. I want to give you guys a word of caution though when it comes to Kickstarter. Anything you throw at Kickstarter, I would expect to 100% lose. This goes for any Kickstarter that's offering a 3D printer. Now with like the Sovel, like the, the Plus or whatever they're calling it, that's a little different because they're an established company. But so for someone like Yumi that they're offering their very first 3D printer product, I do give you a tale of caution or however you would say it, just a little caution with that because I personally have not seen a video of these completely 3D printing all the way through. Now it may exist here on the internet, but what they're offering with these 3D printers is kind of bold. So if you look at it, they do 
say that they're the fastest color 3d printer on the market i believe um you know they're advertising themselves a lot to bamboo lab the main benefit of them they're saying is reducing waste they have an interesting setup they're all bed slingers and they're all top mounted on the gantry so it is very very interesting um, how they look. So if you wanna go ahead and check them out, you can. But again, it's a Kickstarter, so keep that in mind. Word of caution, don't expect to get your product. But it does say they're gonna ship in December of 2025. And you know there are some TikTokers that have been to their factory as well. So if you trust them, you know maybe you wanna take a shot in the dark on one of their printers. I will say though, when I was looking at the prices, they're not that great when it comes into comparison. Yeah, the Kickstarter prices are good, but post Kickstarter, hopefully they can compete. I know it is running on Clipper, um, so you guys can look through their description on that. Again, I think it looks very interesting, but I'm personally of the, the side that hold off when it comes to new 3D printers at this point, especially if it's gonna be your one and only 3D printer, if it's going to be just, you know, you don't have money just to blow on 3D printers. I Fortunately, I'm in a position where sometimes I do, um, but you know, I, I'm not buying it. I don't think you should buy it personally, but if it's something you're interested in, maybe you take a shot if you have the money to blow. But again, I, I've never used one. I don't have it in hand. I don't know. Now again, it is a Kickstarter, so I want to give you that caution, but I thought it was a cool project that's already been back and something that we can keep our eye on with Yumi in the future. If everything they are you know, advertising comes true, they could be a competitor in this market. I do wish though, if their retail prices were a little lower, because at this point you can get an any cubic Cobra V2 for cheaper. I mean, that printer isn't perfect, but for the most part it works right and there's a lot of support for it online. I, you know, the Bamboo Lab A1 is like 479 right now with the Bamboo Lab sale with the combo. It's at 550. It's not too much cheaper than that. So yeah. But again, just go ahead and check them out. I just wanted to caution you on Kickstarters regardless, but I do think it's a cool project to keep an eye out for. Next, we have Snapmaker entering the villa again. You get that uh, Love Island reference, guys? You know, if you're not watching with your wives, what are you doing? Come on. Um, with that being said, guys, they are showing off a new multi-head or multi-tool head printer. It Honestly, this one looked very interesting. Looking at their other products, you know, Snapmaker's not really well adopted. You know, I think they just need some more consistency. I don't know. I, I It looks really cool, but they haven't really offered too many details on their new printer. I know a lot of people were excited for it. Um, it does look awesome. Like if it came out and it was great and they didn't do any of that weird behavior. So with it being a new multi-tool head, I think that is the future, honestly. And maybe Snapmaker's ahead of the game. You know, Bamboo Lab was a little bit ahead of the game already with their dual tool head. Prusa has like their four or five, whatever it is, tool head changer. They're just all expensive. We need a cheaper option. So if this can come in cheaper, or maybe they can give us some reliability at a cheaper option, which is always key as well, it would be pretty interesting. But, you know, I thought you guys should just check it out. It was something I thought was rather cool, but they've been not really giving us too many details on it. It's something from a company that's been around for a while that I would keep my eye on. You know, they're not really, they've kind of fell out of the loop with people, but you know, it's just something interesting. I like seeing 3D printing technology progress. So it's just something I thought looked pretty cool. So that is gonna do it for the news, but I wanna say, I think that over the next few months, there's going to be a lot of 3D printer companies kind of popping up. So always proceed with caution, wait till people have them in their hands and they've act they're actually someone you can trust when it comes to 3D printers. I think we're just going through that time period right now and it's a great time also for new companies to get into the mix. With new technologies comes new companies. So I think there's going to probably be one or two surprises when it comes to 3D printer companies that jump in and offer that multi-tool head printer that everyone seems to enjoy. Um, it also reduces waste, which is good you know, for everyone. It's good for the environment, saves you money on filament. That's the future, guys. Honestly, at this point, I do think that is the future of 3D printing, that multi-tool head. But with all of this being said, guys, I appreciate you tuning into the news. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Did I miss something when it comes to the news? Do I need to make another video next week? Let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend since this should go up on Friday.